I think it's just about going out into God's world and fulfilling the Great Commission and, you know, telling people about God. You know, I'm not saying you have to go out and hand tracks out door to door, but just looking at someone, maybe a smile, just to brighten their day. Because I think it's the little things like that that can really have an impact in someone's life because we may be the only Jesus that someone ever sees. I think just whenever we go out to somewhere like Walmart, I mean, maybe you're looking, maybe, maybe you just want to get something out of the grocery store and there's not something that much left, or you see someone who's got a lot of stuff and you, you're getting a buggy, grab one for them. You know, say hi to someone, genuinely ask about how their day is going. Because again, I think it's when you really try to make that personal connection with someone that you can plant that seed. Because once we plant the seed for God, He'll take care of it from there. But if we never build a relationship with someone, then God's work can't be done. Well, when it comes to the song, The Proof of Your Love, I think about the part in the song where it says, um, if I sing but don't have love, I'm, I'm wasting my breath. And it just makes me think of how um, every part of your life needs to be done in love. And we are called to be a people who minister in love and called to be people um, who act with patience and kindness and self-control, just like 1 Corinthians 13. And I think of how um, 1 Corinthians 13 kind of defines who we are supposed to be as Christians, and then the song The Proof of Your Love is more of like, um, it, it elaborates on that calling. Well, I know for me, I have a really busy life. And for a lot of people, that's an issue because they just try to move through their day, slide through their busy lifestyle and get everything done to just accomplish their own agenda. And they don't really take time to consider other people. And there are many people out there who um, suffer from those who don't really pay attention to them just because they're trying to get their own personal agenda done. And I feel like we should be those people that slow down and take time to listen to them and to respect them and um, just give them the attention that they probably don't get from other people who are just trying to get home to eat their dinner, you know, go to bed. Um, you know, even something small like a smile would make a big difference in somebody's day.